Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Tom Pickock was probably one of the most hotly anticipated Neo pros to join the world tour on the back of his cyclocross success and his incredible under 23 Giro d'Italia win last year. So far, the Yorkshireman has performed well in his first ever season on the world tour. Pickock managed to podium his first ever one day race in the Kern Brussels Kern and in Strade Bianchi he was with the favourites group for a long time and managed to finish top 5 and he was even very present in his first ever monument Milan San Remo where he managed to finish 15. Nevertheless in his first appearance at Prabantas Pile he found himself in the winning move with the superstar Wat Van Aert who had been performing so well this year and the former European champion Matteo Trentin. On paper this looked like to be Wat Van Aert for the taking, however Matteo Trentin has beaten Wat Van Aert in the European Championships and in the race Wat Van Aert opened up the sprint first out of the three and he was of course the firm favourite at this point but the young Yorkshireman managed to hang on to Wat Van Aert and then out sprint him to cross the finishing line first to take his first ever win on the world tour and also for Ineos Grandiers. The acceleration that Tom Pickock came with is a lot more apparent from the aerial shot and here we can see the phenomenal thrust of force that Pickock is able to put into the pedals. Despite Tom Pickock winning the race and being so young, he is in fact not the youngest winner of Brabant's pile. There are in fact three Belgians in front of him. These are of course Edwig van Hoendoorn, Roger Royers and Ludo Janssen who is in fact the youngest winner of the race in, in 1962 when he was 19 years and 350 one days old. One of the worst kept secrets, uh, Tom Pickock is of course a fantastic rider and we were all unsure whether or not Ineos and Grenadiers would allow him to flourish and be an independent rider rather than working for someone else. So this is very interesting indeed for the upcoming races. He next heads to Amstel Gold, then Flesch Vallone, two races which could suit the Yorkshiremen to a T, followed by the Tour of Austria and then his first Grand Tour appearance which will be in the Vuelta España which is a very punchy race so definitely more success on the way for the young Yorkshireman indeed. That's it for this video thank you very much for watching as always if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and of course have a nice day.